they were talking about costs to purchase a home. So let's get to it. So in this example, we're looking at different price points. We're looking at 140, 160, 180, 200. And let's try to get this mouse a little bit bigger. So, oh wait, actually let's do it up here. So you can actually see it. And all right, is that good enough? Okay, so back up to here. Okay, so um, we're looking at different price points. 140,000 to 200,000, 160,000, 180,000. And this is just gonna gotta kind of look at what kind of down payments it's gonna change um, for each of the different price points, what your monthly payment, your total monthly payment. Um, this is just your monthly payment for the, the principal and interest. And so this would be principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, pity as they call it. So the up here, you're going to see it's conventional. These four options, option one, option two, three, and four, conventional. And it's going to be a 30-year um, mortgage, fixed mortgage. So, and then with a different price point. So let's get down here since it's all 5%. Uh, that's another part that's saying it, the loan to value is going to be 95% on all of them. Here is what the loan amount is going to be, 133. And if you increase the purchase price, you're gonna to go to 190. 30 years fixed mortgage is that row. We're gonna use the hypothetical example for this particular video, 3.25% across the board. And APR will just uh, talk about that feature. Uh, payment, so here's your payment. You're looking at $578 and some change for 140,000. And of course it goes up over 600-ish dollars and over 700-ish dollars. And at $200,000 price point, you're looking at um, $826 for your monthly payment. But we've got to add taxes and insurance and private mortgage insurance to get to the total monthly payment, as you're going to see down here. Insurance, you'll talk to an insurance person for your housing. And then taxes. Taxes you will know once you pick the house you are going to purchase. So... We just have fillers in here, 140-ish across the board and 225 across the board. And private month, private uh, mortgage insurance, that's if you don't put 20% down. Um, for 20% and more, this, this would all turn to $0. Um, and with private mortgage, you'll see it does increase uh, just as the purchase price of the house increases. So with all this, with your your loan plus insurance plus taxes plus your private mortgage, you're looking at for a $140,000 house, you're looking at $969,000. If you're going to a $160,000 house, you're looking a little over $1,000. $180,000 house, you're looking at $1,160. And $200,000 house, you're looking at 12, over $1,200 for your total monthly payment. So that's what you're going to expect for your total monthly payment. Now let's talk about what you're bringing to closing, which are with the total amount, and that's this last line here, um, that you're bringing to closing. So this is what your monthly payment is gonna be for the next 30 years. It might vary a little bit with taxes insurance as they change. This won't change, but taxes and insurance will change on a fixed mortgage. So down here, down payment, since we're saying 5% across the board, you know it's gonna increase 7,000 to 10,000 depending on where your purchase price is. 141 to 200. So this is the down payment you are going to need to bring. Now there are some variables where you can have family members or uh, your company um, help assist with that. Uh, again, just talk to your lender, but there can be some assistance there. Closing costs, that's gonna be kind of like a lot of the fees that go in to, you know, you obviously there's people that are putting these mortgages together. Um, so for underwriting, processing, um, and a bunch of other fees. Again, that will, you can talk to your lender more about that so that they can line itemize these, this row. But for these purposes, we're keeping it at 3083 across the board. Prepaid, again, there's a lot of itemized uh, expenses underneath that. Talk to your lender about, but for these purposes, we're basically in the 2,500 and a little bit higher here, 3,000 for a $200,000 home. And then this, we're just keeping zero for these purposes. But it gets you. And then so here, the total cash to close, which is including 
your down payment, your closing costs, and your prepaids, you're at twelve thousand six hundred and eleven dollars. On the one hundred sixty thousand dollar home, you're looking at eight thousand down payment, and then the, these two figures. This all comes out to so thirteen thousand. So this is what you're bringing to closing. This is the cashier's check you are bringing. Go bring cash. You uh, need the cashier's check or a wire to closing. So make sure you have all this amount um, in your bank account. Now, closing costs and prepaids, there are, you can have seller's concessions where they can help pay for these two line items here. Okay. Now, this year it's been harder. In 2021, it's been harder to have sellers assist with that because uh, there haven't been enough houses. They've definitely been in control of house purchases this year. But with that said, there's also still been plenty of seller's assist that I've seen going on. And it's usually with a house that takes a little longer to sell, not in the best of shape. Um, you know, you're kind of, you know, it's not the first day multiple offer houses. So you can have assistance with this um, to reduce this cash to close, this closing amount that you need to bring. So I guess, so basically in a good, in, a, in an ideal world, you'll get family and friends to pay maybe all your, not friends, family and a company to pay all your down payment, possibly sellers to pay that. And you're bringing a lot less to cash to close. But the way the market's been this year, you've been paying pretty much all of this. Um, and so in theory, just know this is what you're paying your cash to close. And with these purchase price amounts. This is what your mortgages is going to look like for the next 30 years. It'll probably increase some, of course, with insurance and taxes, but hopefully that uh, gives you a better understanding of what kind of funds you need to purchase a house. And if you want more information on this, just give me a call, email, text. All my information is listed in the description um, below. So thank you for watching.